Okay, as promised, I would make another video about the calibration of the Helion 20 inch 2019 model. This time I chose a much colorful background and I cleaned my desktop since someone complained about it and she or he was totally right. It was full of icons, so yeah, you couldn't get the feeling of the colors. So I changed my desktop to a much brighter colorized uh, background. I left the screen on for more than half an hour, so uh, that's what I would advise before you calibrate the screen. Turn off uh, other lights in your room, close your curtains, so uh, it's a dark room. No other light sources than the monitor itself. Uh, this is my uh, Mac screen calibrated. It's in the 2012, late 2012 iMac 27 inch. I used it uh, yeah, almost daily. So the screen may have some wear and tear in the colors, but it still looks quite good as I can say. So this is uh, what the screen looks like of my iMac. And this is what the Huion 20 inch looks like when it's uh, fully calibrated. As you can see, the colors are very vibrant and the reds, the blues, the yellows, they all pop out very well. Uh, I did this with the uh, expert calibration mode of the iMac, which you can enter by going to calibration and hold the option key while pressing it. You get uh, several options and yeah, you have to match the colors. Uh, a little trick to do it is uh, to close your eyes a bit. So uh, yeah, all things get blurry and you can get the colors uh, more precise than uh, keeping your eyes open. Uh, you can search for a tutorial on that on uh, YouTube, how to do it. But this is my end result after uh, several calibrations. Uh, it looks like this, so this is the Hurion uh, 20 inch 2019 model with laminated screen and this is my iMac screen as you can see the colors of both uh, machines are, are really good uh, I will also show you the settings in my menu now uh, I put brightness to 100 and contrast to 50 the other settings are HDMI uh, I didn't change anything here and uh, the color temp is user and the reds, the greens and the blues I left on 50 but you can uh, manually change that uh, to your to your needs. Uh, I will try to make a video of both screens. Uh, keep in mind my uh, Huion is bent to the back so the colors look different from this view, but if I go closer and I will rotate my phone, you see that the colors are much vibrant. And since you're working close to the screen, uh, you can't go wrong with the Huion uh, 20 inch 2019. My advice is uh, if you want a pen tablet uh, screen, you don't have money for Wacom, you can go wrong on a Huion. The price is good. And it's really a lovely product. I will make another video uh, as requested by users where I will test several kinds of software since most people who bought this display only using Photoshop or that kind of stuff. I will make another video uh, using 3D software. So uh, using sculpting tools, 3D code was requested. I will also check uh, sketchbook from Autodesk, uh, Photoshop I already showed, but you can find several videos of Photoshop uh, and Huion on the internet that works flawlessly. I will do another Blender video since 2.8 has officially been released and uh, the sculpting tools have been improved. So we'll go to that. Uh, Seabrush, probably I won't do that one because uh, for what I believe they don't have a demo and if it works on 3D code, it probably works on ZBrush too. And if I do a ZBrush tutorial, I will do the shortcut tutorial because there seem to be some problems with shortcuts on the older Huion tablets and maybe they solved it in this version. Uh, I will test that. 
uh, if I can find a demo version of, uh, uh, I forgot the name, uh, the sculpting tool, I just talked about it, I forgot it, yes, I'm only human. So, uh, I will get back on that and uh, I hope this video uh, showed uh, enough of the colors the Huion display can display. So this is the iMac screen and this is the Huion display.